Uh, we're going to get down to the New York Stock Exchange, uh, get some uh, thoughts on all of these numbers from Jim Cramer. What do you think about I mean, we've been talking with Leesman here. The, the equity market and, and, frankly, the bond market, it's like, you know, blind, I would argue blinders. It, there's been this sort of see no evil, hear no evil. Anytime it looks good, we're just like off to the races. And it's like a head well, fake almost every time. And it's almost like they're just listening to Mr. Powell when they want to listen and they don't want to listen when they don't like what he's saying. I think you're absolutely right. That's a very good read on it. I mean, this is a red like any other time. Let's say you're coming out of a recession or something. This would be like, wow, things are really starting to hum now. I mean, th this is a very, <laughs> this is a ridiculously strong report. I mean, uh, Mr. Bullard. Mr. Five to Seven Bullard, uh, I could see how you could say that because there's nothing in this other than retail that's cooling, uh, and it seems like we're really starting to build up ahead of steam, Andrew. This is really incredible, isn't it? It's not so, supposed to happen. Okay, but the, uh, in this environment, if that's the case, you want to own. What do you want to own? Well, the, the uh, you you got to go back. I think that now that the two years move so much, that's a pretty good piece of paper. We have a lot of cash from my Chapel Trust. Go look for some major dislocations today. I think you'll probably get them. Uh, but uh, I've got to tell you that if you had told me that that Pal, if you just reverse it and have Pal give that same speech right now, you would say that is he paying any attention at all to what's going on? This is just a red hot number. This is red hot. I, I got another say. one for you. What? I'll give you a, a red hot story. About Sammy? About Sammy? I what wasn't going Sammy there. Run? I was uh, going to go. I like what Sammy makes him run. I was going red hot story in Florida with Bob Iger, oh. maybe negotiating a truce with DeSantis. This is the beginning. The beginning of the Iger period where you make up for a lot of the mistakes of the previous fellow. And uh, look, I, uh, Iger, people don't understand. Iger's going to change this thing. They're going to get some new people in there. And it's going to be a remarkable transformation. And it's going to happen far quicker than people realize. Far more quickly because he's very smart and very good. He's really good. I would Look, we own Disney. I'm going to buy a lot more Disney. He is a, uh, he has been a beloved Disney into this weakness. He has been but, a beloved you know, Andrew, CEO. Yes, sir. I, I think that people don't realize is that Bob Iger can make a phone call that Chapek couldn't make, and you would say, well, I got to rethink it. I mean, Chapek makes the calls like, oh, geez, I got to take that call. With Iger, it's like, wow, okay, hey, that's a smart thing. That's how people view him. Correctly, by the way. 